shoulders. We just warmed up the, uh, we did the lateral raises, the front raises, the rear raises. The warm up on every set will always be the same. Today just happens to be before shoulders. So we're gonna get right into the press. This is a super set. This can be done with a dock barbell or whatever. Today is gonna be the dumbbells and we're gonna get right into the shoulder lateral raises. Let's go buddy. grab the wrist is because sometimes the weights want to go here when it's up here and I can control all of that front and back at the elbows he kind of still leaving it up to him and if you're gonna give him super safe you want to do that okay take him by 10 to 15 all right one of the tricks I want to show right now is the weight will never go above the elbow show me the difference why is that weight above your elbow Now weight's above your elbow. Now weight's way above your elbow. Now weight's above your elbow. You gotta figure it out. How many reps it takes, you figure it out. Come on. All right. He's tired. The weight is too heavy. That's the point I was getting at. You're here. We're here, but it's not here. Right here, I'm feeling a lot of stress. Here. It'll never be here. It'll be here. Bah! Try to keep that elbow above. Okay? We're going to drop him down to 15. Well, let's go. There you go. Yeah. Well, there it is. What happens is you end up leading with the elbow. Okay. Straighten your arm. A little bit. Now, I want this elbow to go up and your wrist to be bent. Yep. I'll show you. Finish him up. Now show me one at a time. Boom. Yeah. We're gonna practice that. Right now the weight is still. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what he's been doing for a long time, guys. And that's that's fine. He's got great shoulders. But if I were to critique that exercise, I would say, hey, to make sure that the shoulder is doing the work, to really work that insert, you know, all through there, you want to make sure that the shoulder is doing the work, you know, and then at a certain point, you're swinging it, bringing it up, bringing it down. You're essentially catching it here and throwing it up, let it do its motion, bring it back down. Can you see this? Great superset, man. So if I were to stand there, keep my man position. And I hate it when the boss does this. He comes in after you've been working all day long and hangs 10 pieces of sheetrock in 30 minutes right in front of you and you're just exhausted. You're like, dude, come on. So this is, uh, I'm fresh, guys. I haven't been training today. Michael's been kicking ass. This is not at his expense. It's just if he were fresh or drop your weight to where you can do it right. Okay, so I had to get that out there. Boom. Boom. Not here. Here. Then I like to switch legs. Or in the middle. Or wide. Hold. So, once again, I'm fresh, it's not fair. Okay. Get your heart, buddy. 140. 140. What's that? It's what? It's fat crying. <laughs> Fat crying. That's fat. Just, just crying. All right. Um, 142. We're moving on to the next one. Let's go. This is your front press. Let's go, buddy. 10 to 12. Come on. Try to 
stop right here. Nice. The further out they go, the little bit harder it is. I definitely like to touch the dumbbells together, keeps it structured. Beautiful. There you go. Now bend over flies. Right into it, there you go. I like to do a little bit less weight because once again, kind of work this area. Now remember, anytime you're wondering if you're doing this right, make sure you pick a line on the floor and your arms go up and down like a pendulum on that floor. You do not want to have the weight come back here like this. Go. All that line. Look at the line. Look at the line. Where are your hands? Okay. I want it over here. Look at my hand. Come on. There it is. Get it out there. It almost feels like you're pushing it that way, but you're not. Get it out. Now if you look down, see that line? That's your accountability. Keep it on that line. There we go. Now we're training rear delts. Good job, man. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. What's your rate? 15. All right. Our rate is uh, 151. 151. 151, a little tiny muscle, but that's beautiful. 10 pounds. It's beautiful. It shows intensity. Okay, and that's good. All right, guys, we do not have a seated reverse, okay? That's usually when you put your chest against it and you do a reverse right here in the fixed positions. Usually a reverse uh, chest fly. So we're gonna throw down on the incline, structured. Go ahead and put your chest right here. Come forward on it, keep your legs back. There you go. Now, same thing. Go, straighten your legs, buddy. Now come up on it, lay on it almost. There you go. So that way it doesn't move. Okay. Now he's going to go super slow and do me 6 to 12. Let's go. Yep. Oh, I lied. This is uh, 15 to 20. Come on. Go a little faster. There you go. Come on. Now do me a favor. Put your hands like this. Back. There we go. Right there, baby. That's what we want. That little bump right there to stick out. Complete the roll. Complete the apple. Come on. A lot of times you find yourself with your hands, uh, palms facing together, and you end up coming back here. It's a little harder to come back here with your arms in hammer curl position for lack of better words. So, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Doesn't do you any good down there. Come on. Oh, nothing happening down there. It happens up here. Get up here. Play right here. Come on. Come on. Fight for what you want. Fight right now. Right now. You drove all the way here. You thought about what you were going to do. Are you going to do it? Yeah. The guy looks in the mirror and says you did it and you didn't. You're going to not see fat that's sitting there. You're going to not see muscle that's there. Come on. Be honest with yourself. That's why I like this watch. It's accountability. The hell with what I think. The hell with what the camera thinks. The hell with what he thinks. This is the mediator. This is how you know if you try judging your resistance. Come on, buddy. Okay, you're good. Dumbbell shrugs, sides. Just go. Right into it. Three sets of 15. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Grab what you can. Use these versa grips, dude. Load on the weight. Come on. These are side shrugs leading to the side. Shoulders back. Up. Oh. Yeah. You know if you're doing them right, especially when you get lean, you start to get a little split right here. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on, come on, Six. Seven. No little bounce. No little bounce. I don't want to bounce. Yeah, up and down. Up and down like a machine. What's the bounce for? See your knees bending? Don't bend. You want to fight through every sticking point. If you end up doing this, a little bit of this. Well, that's just your traps not doing the work. That's you burning calories. We want to build traps and burn calories. Come on. Take it to me. All right. Come on. Come on. All right, here. Come on. Right here. Right here, right here. Come on. How bad ass are you? Come on. They're going to do this to you on set. They're going to do this to you in the gym all day long. Do your 15? Yeah. That is the end of your shoulder workouts. We're going to get into biceps right now. Pretty incredible uh, performance by my buddy here, Michael. What's your heart rate, bud? 161. 161, holding 75 pounds. Okay, the only thing that I would have changed about what he was doing 
is if you want to bend your legs, bend them. But when you come up, it's not of this. It's not one big fluid movement, okay? You want to lock them out. Come up and down with the muscle intended, and that right now is traps. Great job, buddy. My friends, biceps is one of my favorite muscle groups. I love the pain. When I first got into this whole thing, I was trying to hide from my heartache, right? Well, we talk about the pain threshold of calves, biceps, and abs, and those really do burn more than the rest. So I love training my biceps because it was the easiest way to hide from my heart. God, I was hurting inside. This is gonna be painful. If you want bicep, if you want peak, if you want something to do with a, a lump out of your bicep, you're gonna have to take that pain. There's no way around it. To give it peak, to give it form, to give it, you know, to, to be an artist while you're building, it's a pain threshold that's flat out. Intensity, yes. Being in the right position, yes. Make sure your elbow doesn't move so you don't avoid the sticking areas of your bicep, yes. But most of all, it's pain. We're gonna put this kid through it right now. Oh! Come on. Only thing that can go wrong right here is his hand position. So we just wanna make sure he's even. Right now we're not even. Yep. That's it. Why are you here? You want biceps? Yes. Yes. Nothing moving. Nothing moving. This is beautiful. Three. Yes. Four. He's got his tricep resting on his lat like this so his elbow doesn't move. It's beautiful. Come on. Fight. Six to twelve. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Drop it. Remove one ten. It's incredible. You've got to be a statue. This is hinge training, guys. The forearm literally goes from here to here. That's it. Nothing else moves. None of this stuff. Nothing. Come on. No matter how much pain you're in, drop your weight. You know how many guys with 14-inch arms I see curling 35-pound dumbbells? No. Slow the way down. Slow the way down. Last one. Slow. Slow, 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 slow. Come on. If you have to close your eyes to take the pain, it's another level. How many times I open my eyes in the mirror and see all these guys staring at me? I didn't know they were staring at me because my eyes were closed. I was inside myself just trying to take the last little bit. It's, it, it's, it's just another level of pain I'm asking you guys to go through. But if you do, you'll have amazing biceps. Let's move along. Not that. Watch the back side of this. I've got the entire stack got the pin in the whole stack. Now, he won't be able to do this, well, he might, but I doubt it, uh, for his entire amount of reps that's necessary for this, this exercise. So watch us quickly move the weight less or put the pin up higher to give him less weight so he can finish the amount of reps that is uh, supposed to be for the exercise. Let's go. Another thing I'm gonna ask him to do is I want him to hold further down on the rope. I don't want the rope resting. I want his grip being tried. I want him really have to hold that weight. There you go. Come on. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Straighten those arms. Six, seven. Kick them forward. Leave them there. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're dropping weight. Keep going. Come on. Whoa. Come on. Take this pain. I love this too. Look at this. It really brings out some great definition of the chest too. Come on. Think about it. Come on. Training at Miami Fitness. Getting it done. You know who trains here? Icons. You want to be an icon? Yes. Come on. They have pretty weights in here. This is great some work. What's your number? 20. That was it. That was just 20. That's a strip set. That's a strip set. You start with more weight than you can do and you finish with the amount of weight barely could do to finish the reps required. Great set, bud. What's your heart rate? 163. Heart rate is 163. 155 now. <laughs> 155, it's dropping, but that, that literally that shows resistance, guys. One sense of accountability. I'm gonna be redundant as hell. You're gonna watch all my videos. I'm gonna keep screaming it. Don't go by pain. I mean, go by pain. But make that watch judge your resistance. Make it say a number that is impressive. Now we all have a graph, I wrote the graph, you guys have that as a reference. Abs for instance, you want your abs somewhere near 
100 to 130. Abs is a small muscle group. It's usually seated, not a lot of muscle groups engaged. It's hard to get your heart rate high. So if you do, you know you're killing it. If you're done doing abs and your pain threshold is through the roof, like your abs hurt so bad and your heart rate's 100, you're not gonna have abs. You're absolutely not gonna have abs. You get that drinking a cup of coffee, you get that looking at, a, at a traffic. You know, that is not intensity, that is not bringing it, that sense of accountability, that pain threshold, out the window for abs. Because they hurt anyway. You gotta have the heart rate for that accountability so you're not inside your head saying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, when you're really not and you end up with no abs. Preacher curl, two sets, what is this? Uh, two sets of 10 to 12. Come on, buddy. This is a strip set. One. Now, I'm going to do something to them. I don't like coming all the way up. Down. Down. What happens up here is a lot of nothing, right? Tell me if this is different than any time you've ever done it. Oh, yeah, definitely. I can really feel it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Beautiful. Come on. Come on. Down. No reason to come all the way up. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Up. 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 Set it down. That was good. Now, that's not a strip set right now. We know what strip sets are by now. We've watched enough videos. He picked a 25, we're gonna throw down on that. I'm gonna show you a quick variation though. I said don't come all the way up. Why? Because when your elbow's on, a, on an angle, like this, on a 45, that's resting. Right there, I'm holding the weight. Now, what happens when I bring my elbow so it's not on the angle and I come all the way up? Well, that's really hard to do. Okay, so it's a manipulation of the angle. Okay, now watch what I do on this. So, I'm down here. My boy, and I curl. I don't want to come all the way up here, right? I'm gonna spend time down here. Give me some biceps down here, right? Now, if I want to come all the way up, what happens when I do this? I'm all the way forward. My the angle of my arm is at perpendicular to the ground. Now, when I do that, it's all under uh, pressure. There's no rest. So I went from here to forward. My elbow stayed in the same position, but there's distance between this angle. Basically making it so it's up and down. Once again, not here, but here. Quick tip. All right, guys, this is alternating arms, hammer curl. Okay, never will I say cheat. Usually I don't say cheat. Everything I've been screaming is structured, right? This is the end of your workout. Let's burn it out. Let's burn it out. So, I've asked him to pick a weight. You'll notice it doesn't say uh, strip set on this. It's because I don't mind if at the end of it, if he can't do another one, he does a little bit of the motion. There is, there is a, a cheating method that is, 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 is very useful in building muscle, especially when you're depleted. So go ahead and show us how this is done, buddy. Last set of the day, biceps, earn them. Seventeen, three more. Eight. Nineteen. Twenty. Now, just for fun for the for the camera, we were kind of cheating a little bit on those. I want you not to move a damn thing. This elbow piece right now, right where it is, and curl it. See what happened? That was perfect example, guys. I was asking him to do exactly what he did, a little bit of motion to allow him to play with this 35, which is heavy weight at the end of the at the end of a very long bicep training. So congratulations. He knows it wasn't a lot of manipulation, but when he sat there and he did the kind of training we've been learning, it was boom to boom. And didn't have the strength to do it because he's depleted and he's a badass and he used all his work already, you know, all his calories here, here lifting, the, lifting the weights. But I needed you to kind of see that, why you pick a heavier weight and swing it, okay? So that cheating method, once again, in the safe environment, can definitely be used to, to build biceps. Great job, bud.